my sister-in-law's, to the church event, to the soccer game, wherever you want to take it. That's great. Listen, we're going to switch over to Shannon now. Fresh paper was inspired by a home remedy that my grandmother in India once gave me to drink. They're little pieces of paper that have this delicious maple scent that's naturally occurring from the spices that are infused in. I had this idea to try to apply them in keeping food fresh, but as a kid, I didn't have a lot of applications I could look into, and it wasn't until I went to my local farmer's market, just standing on the street and handing out sheets, and all of a sudden, we started to hear things like, it's making it possible for me to afford feeding my family fresh, healthy food. And that's when I realized that we might actually be able to bring it to people all over the world. I really try to share my story and to share the struggles that I've had because I hope that if I can inspire even one other girl or, or woman to just think a little bit further with their ideas, to dream just a little bit bigger. Oh, I'm so excited. How appropriate that I can say game changer, right? Not only is Kavita an award winner, I mean, we talk about in the likes in the same companies as Apple and Tesla, but one of Time Magazine's top five influential women in food. We have something that you really only find in specialty markets and here at HSN, it's the last show of the visit. You want to save time. You don't want to throw away food. You want to do it naturally. I actually bought this product before I even met Kavita. I'm such a huge fan and I know you are too. So please call us on the big game day because this is something that truly is a game changer. All we ask you to do is do you want your bread or your produce, $19.95, $9.98 on your credit cards, 091-526. Kavita, welcome back. Hi, Shannon. Good Thank to you see so much. I'm so excited to be here. This is so incredible. It is. Okay. <laughs> Were your ears burning? Because when you debuted here at HSN, <laughs> you know, everybody was talking about you and how much they love this product. It was amazing. I mean, I started at a farmer's market only a couple years ago. Did you so really? So to be at HSN and to share my simple little idea, it was amazing. It's I mean, I still get deal. emotional when I yeah. Think about Absolutely. it, it was well, incredible. Well, let's start with the basics. So, yeah. like I said, I use it. I have it at home. I'm oh, such a huge amazing. fan. I love to cook. I, you know, I love to eat. <laughs> God only knows. <laughs> but you found a way to really kind of harness nature yeah. to allow our things that we're spending a lot of money on to last longer. Yeah. So this is this is it. This is fresh yep. paper. It's a really simple, tiny little piece of paper that's okay. infused with organic spices. So you just put this in with your produce, like we you see we have on this table or right here, like we have with this. Spinach. So that's all you do. Yeah, or right underneath this little carton. All of you do. Strawberries in this bag of tomatoes, and I can't wait to go in the fridge and show you too I because know. that's it. That's how you use fresh paper, and again, it's just infused with organic spices. So, so Grandma would be proud, right? Yeah, <laughs> it was inspired by a home remedy that my grandmother in India once yeah. gave me to drink, and you know, I was so amazed. She gave me the spice tea when I was visiting her, and I drank some tap water. But it led me to be really obsessed with these spices she taught me about, and eventually, after I started this middle school science project, I infused them into fresh paper which is actually a really incredible way to keep food fresh for longer. It, so it's it been is. amazing for me to see this journey. It, it, it's such a journey. And by the way, if you're a huge fan like I am, remember 24 sheets. Now, one of the things that I actually didn't realize, so they don't start activating, if you will, until you open up that pouch, yeah, right? Yeah, so each sheet is active for a month, and you're right, okay. in the packaging, it lasts for years. Oh, wow, so, so this that's... could be years worth of use, depending on how oh, totally. you use it. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, it is a genius idea. And you know, whether you love your tomatoes, or your spinach, or your lettuce, or your strawberries, or your peaches. I mean, anything that you love to eat, including all the way up to baked goods. That's the one thing that really surprised me, too. Yeah. So you can help extend the life of baked goods, yeah, too. Yeah, so we launched this exclusively on HSN. It was amazing because it's the same concept. You take the sheet that's infused with the organic spices, yeah. and you can drop it right into your bread box, and that's it. Or if you've just baked some cookies, yeah. just throw a little sheet in there. And you'll see we actually have a little half sheet here because the really cool oh. thing about fresh paper is you can cut it to different sizes. And people love that, like Do you, you know saw with the herbs done that I should yeah. do that oh you, you get so much more out of it oh because gosh it makes you so can much cut sense it into tiny little sheets you know whatever your use yeah. is whether it's herbs whether it's tomatoes or strawberry you can really cut it down to size and so the 24 sheets really last it, it does quite so, a long time you know yeah. time always flies by we talked about the refrigerator yeah. can we take everybody there Let's go. because <laughs> you know it doesn't have to be you know just room temperature fruits and vegetables and breads etc wherever you'd store yeah. your food normally so you can right use fresh paper in or out of the fridge but this is my absolute favorite so when I was at the farmer's market, people started calling this like a dryer sheet for produce, and I think it's right there because of this, because you can drop a sheet 
in your right crisper drawer. Right in the crisper drawer. drawer. And that's that's it. Oh, that's keeping on. everything in there fresh for longer. It's really remarkable because the spices that are infused in fresh paper are, are how it's active. And you can leave the sheet in there for about a month. You can also see here we have some of our own containers, some of the store packaging. And what's really cool is you don't actually need to go and repackage all your produce when you bring it home from the store. You can actually just keep it in the store packaging and drop yeah. a sheet in, or you can cut little sheets and just put them right into the cartons or the clamshells, or use your own containers. But you'll see in the fridge, we don't have a lot of clutter. We don't have no. a lot of plastic because you can just drop this tiny little paper sheet into whatever packaging you have or right into your crisper drawer. And that's it. And again, it's, it's compostable and recyclable and it's it's made in the US so when you're all done with it just compost it I mean recycle made it in the USA I mean yeah. that's a big thing and that was really important to me I so bet we, it was yeah. and you know what I think is so cool too Kavita you know sometimes we gloss over the obvious not only the made in America and remember you know it doesn't start its little activation date until you open up that fresh sealed pouch the other thing that I love about it is it's all natural yeah. and so often I think as consumers we love the idea of going all natural we love the idea of organic we love the idea of you know you know giving back to mother earth yeah. and you know we know mother nature knows best but sometimes you know mother nature can't compete to the man-made elements and actually the man-made products can't compete to what you're doing with this right that's right well I think you know what's what's really hard about going out and buying fresh produce is when you want to get like salads at a big box store you get a big cart and it's a great value but then it goes bad after like a couple of days it does and it's not just money that you lose, but oh, it's so please. frustrating. I always get yeah. used to get really upset because I had all these plans to eat all the salad for a week. And so now with fresh paper, what's really great for us to see is how, you know, when you just put a sheet in, we hear from people that they're able to eat a lot healthier. They're saving so much money. But most importantly, it's really simple. It just it becomes is. part of your life. You're not it, it changing is. how you store your produce. You're not going out and getting a lot of clutter in different containers. You're just putting a little sheet in with your produce. And because it's made with organic spices, it's also a really simple and safe way it to is. keep your food fresh. So I just want to show you too. again, uh, so you can choose the bread or the produce. And I, I, on the produce, fruits or vegetables. Yeah, right? exactly. So fruits, vegetables, lettuce, you know, tomatoes, whatever floats your boat. On the bread, I would imagine any kind of, you know, bread Anything. item. Anything. So if you're buying bread from the store that isn't loaded with preservatives, which is great, you can totally add a sheet. And if you're okay. baking at home, yeah. you're not using lots of preservatives. Right. And that's a For great sure. way to use bread paper. Have you found, too, at least I know when I try to buy organic, which I know yeah. many of us do, the organic seems to go bad faster, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the biggest struggle. Is also when you're going to the farmer's market, you're buying that great produce, Yeah. but that's the hardest sometimes to keep fresh because it is really fresh. It's not loaded up with lots right. of chemicals. And so this is a great use for organic breads, organic produce. It is. You're going to get so yeah. much bang for your buck. Remember that price break is only good now. This is Kavita's last show. It's $9.98. It's actually an even better value than a white bought mine. <laughs> but hey, that's all right. So definitely share the wealth. I think for those of us out there who have tried this product, we really become crusaders because it's kind of like that old adage, when you know better, you do better. Get it at home. There's a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. You're not going to need that 30 days. I did kind of a supermarket challenge, Kavita, and you probably hear this all the time, where, again, I try to buy organic, yeah. try to eat organic when I do. Yeah. You know how fast that spinach goes. You oh know my how gosh. fast it goes, right? <laughs> it's like when I say overnight, I'm not kidding. It's like a race. <laughs> it is. It's like, okay, I've got an hour to eat it before it goes bad. <laughs> What's so cool is you're not going to need that 30-day money-back guarantee. No. You're going to see quite literally the, the life of your produce and your breads, everything extended right before yeah. your eyes. And that's the best part of this, is I yeah. keep hearing from people how they're using it. People have their own creative ways of using it. But because you can cut it down, you can sure. customize it, the best stories are the ones where people are telling it, us how they test it on their own right. and what, what they heard. So okay. that's awesome. It is less than a dollar sheet. That's a better price than I ever got when I bought it, but go Sorry. figure. <laughs> She's like, I'm a little nervous now. So, Kavita's last show, you choose. Uh, price is good now. Let's take everybody yeah. on a tour of the table again uh, to just kind of get everyone's creative juices yeah. flowing. So I love that, you know, from onions and garlic and potatoes, you, your peaches, your oranges, your nectarines, even things that are only in season for a short amount of time. Exactly, that's right. And Kavita, one of the other things that I love is it requires no additional time or planning on your part. You don't have to transfer things. You don't have to like, okay, I got to put it in this container or that container. 
put it in whatever they got, right? Exactly, and store the sheets too, because yeah. they last for years. Just when you come home from the grocery store, just add a sheet in, really, as you're unpacking your produce. You can do that in the yeah. fridge. You can do it like you see here. We have a fruit bowl with a sheet just, just there. Isn't or you can put smart. tiny little sheets with your herbs, which I love. I can't because, believe I haven't done that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's something that actually one of our first farmer's market customers told me about, and I thought, that's brilliant. That's, that is yeah, brilliant. She said, oh, I've been cutting them up with actually herbs that she was growing, and yeah. I thought that was such a great idea. So you can do that. Brilliant. And the same thing with the bread, which I think is, yes. is really amazing, because sometimes you're baking a huge loaf of bread, sometimes right. just a tiny amount. But again, you can just put a tiny little sheet in. Or if you get a bag of bagels, yeah. too. Little How quickly do those way. bagels start oh, to get Oh, please, yeah. I know, right? So, and when you freeze baked goods, it's not really the same, I feel. No. So this is like a really good way to actually extend your fresh baked goods to keep getting a great taste also. Yeah, absolutely. So you keep that taste, you keep that exactly. freshness, you know, you keep, you know, the oxidation at bay. Now, this is something that I think is such a great idea. Yeah. Even so, not even fresh baked necessarily, but if you're spending the money at a bakery yeah. and you're getting those, you know, exactly, you know, tarts or pies or cookies or breads or bagels. Yeah, or if you're entertaining and you have a long day, yes. if you just stick a sheet under there, that's also amazing because oh, for cool. you know, throughout like all the parties people are having today, yes. food is out for hours, and both with the produce sheets and the bread sheets, it's great it for entertaining. Is. You can stick it under a fresh veggie platter or under baked goods. Uh, do you know what, I thing. have to get, I have not tried the bread. I've, I, I'm a huge fan of the produce, but you know how they have those two for ones, you know, yeah. buy one, get one. I did this a couple weeks ago with corn muffins and I don't, I could have just as well thrown the second package away. Yeah. On, because by the time I got to it, it was, you know, it was a science experiment. I was growing my own penicillin, apparently. So, you know, <laughs> that buy one, get one free. Didn't save me any money because it, like I said, you know, and, you I know, was Madame Curie in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I really was. Which it's also, you're such a great, you know, success story. And if people are channel surfing, because we know it's a, you know, a big game day. And uh, when we they get to commercial breaks, you know, we'll kind of reintroduce values because we know it's a big TV night. But if people are tuning in, this was a homegrown remedy. Yeah. And it's, it must be so fun for you to see this, you know, nature's and grandma's secrets come to play in such a big way. Yeah, it's really inspiring for me to see the response. So this literally started as my middle school science project. That is so <laughs> and it was cool. inspired by this home remedy that my grandmother in India gave me to drink. And, you know, I was just so fascinated by the spices she had in the spice tea yeah. she gave me. And so when I learned about them, I started to think that maybe I could use them to keep food fresh. And so sure. I eventually infused them into fresh paper. So cool. And then it took me years and years to find organic spices yeah. that I felt like were high quality enough, that were powerful enough for yeah. what we were trying to do. And so these sheets are infused with organic spices. They're made in the U.S. They're compostable. But I actually only started about a couple of years ago at my farmer's wow. market. I would make them by hand, almost like baking cookies, because I wanted them to be really made so with cool. the purest ingredients. Did, did, yeah. you, did your whole family buy copies of that Time magazine? I mean, did they? <laughs> it was surreal. <laughs> I mean, even when you say I know now, my family would. It's like, I buy it every copy on the new shelf. Yeah, but, I still don't, you know, it's hard for me to absorb. It's all happened so quickly, but it's all because of people who've supported us. And the ageism yeah. community, I mean, when I first came here, it was unbelievable. It, it Just really is. The and way people came forward. Uh, I want to stress again, uh, of course, a lot of channel surfers today. This is Kavita's last show of the visit. When I bought mine, I got my first one off the Monday Night Show. I did not get it for 1995. Uh, I would be happy to do it again. But the fact that we have this kind of price cut, it is absolutely you should you, you should try it because you know I think when I said earlier when we know better we do better. We all try to eat healthier. We all try to live healthier. But when you're throwing away, it's cash in the trash. If you're throwing away pr produce, if you're throwing away bell peppers or lettuce, you know all of those best intentions, you're wasting your money. And Kavita, you know the other thing that makes me think of speaking of your grandmother my grandmother wouldn't buy a lot of fresh produce because yeah. you know she it was just her and yeah. so she would think well I'm gonna end up throwing away I'll never get to it for a lot of seniors who are are That's maybe right. not eating healthier yeah. because they don't want to waste that money this can help anyone who's on a budget yeah. to extend anything that they're buying. Yeah, basically. and you don't want to be wasteful. No. It's not just about saving money. You don't want to waste. We have no. so much food waste already. And I think also it's really important when you buy that fresh produce to feel like it tastes fresh even yes. a couple of days later. So it's for sure. not just about saving money, but I think the taste oh, is sure. really important too. And that's something I've been really happy so to too. see people are telling us I, I want to take everybody back to the refrigerator oh, yeah. <laughs> again because if you're looking at this table, you're going, okay, well, that's fine if it's, you know, food that I store at room temperature. But it's so much more than that. So, Kavita, I guess the, the common 
denominator is wherever I would store my stuff, that's where fresh paper can that's, go. That's it. And so, you know, we can do it in slow motion. You just drop a sheet in wherever you store your produce. So here we have it in the crisper drawer. I think this is why folks gave it that great name, a dryer sheet for produce, because <laughs> that's, that's you can cute. notice we don't have to wrap things individually. One sheet is really enough here in the crisper drawer, or if you have store packaging, like we have with these peppers, you yeah. can just drop a sheet in. Like you see with the grapes too, you can just drop a sheet in. And sometimes we've used our own containers, but the important thing is you don't have to go out and buy lots of containers. Right. You don't have to have a ton of plastic in your kitchen and in your fridge. Yeah. You can really use your own containers or you use the store containers, but you can keep things pretty decluttered also right. because you're using this little sheet. And also what's what's really great is because it's made with the organic spices, yeah. it's perfectly safe to have in there with your food. Right. It's perfectly safe for it to touch your food because, again, it's it's plant-based. You know, it's Kavita, a really natural way to keep You know, kind of fresh. playing devil's advocate here. So each sheet is about a month. You That's said, right. right. Yeah. So if I, you know, I, you know, I eat the spinach, I can take that sheet, put it in something yeah, else. Yeah, and what is awesome is you can just actually leave a sheet in your crisper drawer. Oh, actually, I like that idea. Or leave a sheet in your fruit bowl. Just yep. swap the fruit. The whole idea is like make it yeah. as simple, as easy, as intuitive. So you don't have to think yeah. about it every day. You, I don't want you to be thinking <laughs> right. about repackaging your produce or coming home from the grocery store and doing all this extra work yeah. when you've already gone through the trouble to actually buy Absolutely. some fresh, healthy food. Okay, so. listen, I know for me and everybody's results are different, but I was throwing away on organic produce probably $20 <laughs> a week. And I know that... I mean, that pays for my purchase. Yeah. I mean, it really does. I know everybody's different, but you're not going to need that 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, especially if you're someone like me, you're, tr you know, you're juicing or you're trying to eat healthier. Uh, my producer, Daryl, didn't even have chicken wings on game day. I think that's sacrilegious. I think that's illegal. But, I mean, if you're trying to eat healthier, f at least for me, the first week that I used it, it, it paid for my purchase. So why not get it at home? It's Kavita's last show. I bought mine through the Monday night show at at the original price of $24. So if you don't open up those little sheets and it makes such a great gift for somebody who's trying to get healthy, get that price cut. I would actually grab more than one of these and they really do make fun gifts, Kavita, because yeah. I think a lot of, what do you get the health nut, right? I mean. Exactly, or the person who just started juicing yes. or is on the new diet. Yeah. Or also college students. Um, I've actually been really excited to see this in a lot of wedding registries, which yes. I thought was amazing. That's really but cool. I realized that, you know, eating healthy, eating more fresh produce is kind of on everyone's list for sure and tools that make that easier and that are also not super expensive uh, yeah. and are organic are really hard to come by it, I they think are and that's why we've had this amazing I'm grassroots you, support it's not what you're spending it's what you're saving and you know how much i mean i know how much i was throwing away i, I have yeah. to get the bread though because i started with the produce i haven't yeah. tried the bread one we do have both choices available both at that special price break so uh v Okay, the bread at this point is probably more limited, uh, and but I will say this. No, I'm okay. I'm just I'm just going on a limb. <laughs> you could probably even do that with dog biscuits and stuff. Actually, we've had people do that with dog right. biscuits. With the most interesting things, yeah. because really. There are so many things around the home right. where you feel like you need to try to exactly. keep things fresh. And again, yeah. because it's so safe, exactly. because it's infused with the organic spices, you can really feel good about just putting this in with your food. You can have it touching all your food like you see right. we have it here. It's, it's because safe. it's, it's safe, natural. it's plant-based, it's yeah. organic ingredients. We really took all that extra time to find those organic ingredients and infuse it with ingredients that were completely safe and also sustainable. So. Absolutely. Well, Kavita, it was so nice to officially <laughs> it was such a meet you. <laughs> Continued success. Thank you so much. And and remember, if you want that price break, call now, Bread Most Limited. And once you try it, I know you're going to be a crusader and a believer. We'll look forward to seeing you again Can't soon. Wait. Thank <laughs> Thanks, you. Shannon. Take care. You too. Hey, don't hang up. We've got more of our kitchen innovations coming your way. In fact, I spy the master Dysa. He's in the house. And then we also have our dash. Now, you know what's so interesting? I was actually going to buy a pizza maker that just rotates and circulates hot air kind of like me, I circulate hot air on any given basis when I'm on the air. But this is actually a cooker, a baker, a quesadilla maker for about 30 to $40 less than I was gonna pay for that little rotating thing. Plus it's got Dash's unique non-stick that we'll talk about so it's actually easier to clean. So we're gonna give you all those details. Like I said, who's the master dicer? Gotta stick around to see. Kristen Chenoweth is also back at HSN.
We're celebrating Valentine's Day early on HSN with the return of Kristen Chenoweth. She performs from her new album, The Art of Elegance, which includes exclusive bonus songs you can only find on HSN. She's also back with her exclusive jewelry collection. Enjoy free shipping and special pricing on new arrivals as well as customer favorites. Watch Kristen Chenoweth Wednesday at 7 p.m. or search Kristen Chenoweth on hsn.com. Simply Essential. Simply perfect for every style. Sometimes the greatest pleasures are the simplest ones of all. Watch Concierge Collection tonight only on HSN. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. Lancôme Paris, Saturday on HSN. It's true, is the master <laughs> does. Kitchen master, of course, we have John Florell here and you. Where have you been all my life, John? Why, why am I buying the pre-diced, pre-cut yeah. when I know better? Don and Donna? spending all that extra money to have somebody else do it for you. It's well, you know, crazy. cooking doesn't take time in the kitchen. Right, it's, it's the prep, right? And it's this true. is like your own little sous chef. You know, it really okay, is. Look at, okay, you know what's so funny? <laughs> to do what John is doing, first of all, I don't have the knife skills to do that. That's number right. one, unless, you know, I'd have a bunch of Band-Aids at hand. Right. Uh, or 911. Uh, but the, <laughs> do you know this. how long that would take me in the that, kitchen? That was four whole onions, <laughs> okay? And in we minced seconds. it perfectly. Here, I'll put this out in the tray in the front. Oh, wow. Watch this. You can, you can see how perfect that comes out. There's no humps or lumps or bumps, no. perfect for chicken salad, tuna fish, for, for uh, chili night, for soups or stews. I mean, you get perfect pieces, so they'll all cook up at the same time. They do. Hey, by the way, you just pick your color of choice. We've got this great apple green. We've got the red, the purple, what I call the blue box blue. It's For me, it's better than jewelry. <laughs> and then the black, and everything is housed in this great little, you know, storage yep. reservoir. And actually... You got a freebie too. Oh yeah, I know. Well, oh, the lid freebie. comes with it, and you yep. get this little peeler. That's free, free, this. free. Yeah, it's a dual-sided peeler that you will love. Yeah, I'll tell you. I was just looking at the flex pay on this. Uh, it, Ten bucks. You would pay more for this peeler I, than I what you're actually, getting you for know flex pay tonight. That's no I, joke. Those kitchen stores. I've this. spent upwards of fifteen dollars, half the price of admission, on just one of those. I'm going to show you this because it's so cool. Real quick, if it cuts as it goes forward, it cuts as it goes back. Oh, so it's twice genius. as fast as any other peeler you may have used okay but what's great about this you can do carrots yeah. uh, you can do apples banana or not bananas but car <laughs> carrots zucchini right. cucumbers Potatoes. right anything kiwi yeah. fruits but watch this because yeah. i'm going to flip it over because on this side this is what i love it's a julienne <gasps> peeler that's my favorite see how that works okay so look at this you can julienne carrots and zucchini zucchini for zucchini pasta for like if you're into healthy right. cooking you're doing paleo, zucchini pastas you can make it carbs but it out. gives you yeah. that angel haircut oh, that, that you just can't do with a machine or there's no way you can
could do that with a knife. It, I mean, basically, that is this. free with your purchase. And so look at that mound of zucchini pasta we made time. in just a second. But you're going to love that too for carrots, yeah. for stir fries. You'll do use it for wok cooking or just for garnishing a oh, salad. Absolutely. You get that long angel hair, you know, very super thin julienne, and it's so easy to use. You just Isn't draw it down along the carrot. I mean, just for a garnish, you'll love and that. John, you know what I love too? Because there's zero waste. Like yes. when I'm trying to peel a potato or something, you know, half of it is me trying <laughs> to not cut myself, right? You get that peeler with the machine today. Free. So, yeah, it comes with Free. it. Free. But here's some leaks, okay? And I'd like to mention, see, I've got one, there's one grate in here that I've got right now. It's like having 24 little knives all yeah. working at the same time. This is the small mincing grate. You get the large mincing grate. It has bigger holes. You okay. can see that. Yep. You get the slicing grate. You get the cleaning tool so you don't have to get your fingers into those razor sharp <laughs> right. blades, okay? okay? You get the lid that snaps on the storage container underneath, and you get that, that super duper dual sided peeler. I mean, it's a super deal, but watch this. Okay. I mean, see, I like to show you with the small grate first because yeah. as I do this stuff, it cuts it into really small pieces. Like, I, I, if you've ever tried to mince uh, leeks before, leeks okay? Are hard. Leeks are tough. I mean, oh. and if you put them in a food processor, you get soup. <laughs> you but do. look, all you do is press down on the lid, those 24 little knives work all at the same time to mince your leeks into little pieces and seconds. And I want to show you this too, because okay. when, every time you press down that lid, it forces the food through those razor sharp blades. Look at that. I mean, how long would it take Perfect. you to do that with do you know a what? knife? I, I can't do it because they, they have kind of like those rings, if yes. you will. And I just, I've never been able to mince now, a leek. That's the thing though. The, any, the, the difference is things that are solid won't mince. Like carrots, zucchini, right. apples, pears. Here, here's some carrots. Right. You see, anything that grows in right. layers, like onions, celery, cabbage, so that's the same leeks, insert, but same it's thing, in a different just a shape different vegetable it's because it's solid, okay. you're going to get that long, thin julienne. So now yeah. you can make carrot sticks for a stir fry or for a little uh, vegetable tray with a sour cream or an avocado dip. Oh, yeah. All you do is press down on the lid. It does the work for you. And here, I'll put oh, these great. out here in the front tray so you guys okay. can see at home. Have you seen you how much a relish tray sticks. costs you at a supermarket? <laughs> oh, I know. 29 bucks, right? Oh, yeah, at least. And, and, and then John and I were talking, you don't know when they cut it up. That's right. I mean, this is as fresh as it gets. Yeah. And we all know fresh is best, but here's the thing. It's 10 bucks on your credit card. <laughs> it's free shipping. You know, just the time and the agony and the stress that this is going to save you. John, I don't know if you've done this, but I have actually not made a recipe based on what the prep. Like, if right. I look at the prep and it looks like too much work, <laughs> I just won't do it. Well, here's the thing. You don't need to use it for uh, recipe things. I mean, right. if you just want to use it for chopping onions, sure. you can do that. But I'll tell you what. Next time you take your kids to that uh, fast food place yeah. with the french fries, right? Add it up, figure it out. I did this, yeah, okay? okay? One of those fast food places, 95 cents for a four ounce package of french Is fries. It really? That's $4 a pound for potatoes, oh okay? I mean, think about it. It costs oh less when you can man. make this fresh at home. You get shoestring french fries by the mounds. Yeah. In fact, yeah, I mean, put those on a cookie sheet in the oven, oh, yeah. sprinkle some Parmesan cheese or barbecue oh, salt oh, over please. the top. They're delicious baked instead of deep fried, yeah. and they're better for you, too. Have you seen what those quote unquote gastro pubs, you know, charge for those? I mean, they make a big <laughs> It's like, yeah. ooh, we've got homemade potato <laughs> chips. Ooh, we've got homemade fries. And here, right? you don't have to, I mean, anything solid. Try an apple. Yeah. Here's a quick afternoon snack for the kids, all right? Oh, that's you put a good an apple idea. through there. Look at this. Yeah. You get matchstick apples, melt down a bowl of caramel in the microwave, ooh. and the kids have their own little dip no. tray. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know what? They'll be inspired to eat it because they look kind of like French fries. That's right. You know? So you kind of <laughs> trick right. them into eating vegetables, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to change this out. Here's how simple it is. All you do is pull this back, okay, yep. this little tab. That unlocks the blade. Now I'm going to put the one with the large holes in okay. because I got to show you this. I'll tell you what, if you want bigger French fries, like the ones you get in the restaurant, you're going to love this. You can make mounds and pounds of those big giant steak fries like yeah. you get in the restaurants. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Look at the difference in the size of these fries. Okay. So you can oh, see the nice. difference in the size of those grates. So if you want bigger pieces of, let's say, for example, you want to make a Greek salad. Okay. All right. Here, we'll use this. This is the only machine I've ever found that will actually die a red ripe juicy tomato. I mean, if you've ever on taco night, okay, if you're sitting I'm there impressed. in the kitchen trying yeah. to dice tomatoes now by hand with a knife, look at this. All you do is place a half a tomato on top, press down on the lid, and those razor sharp German stainless steel blades do the work for you. Here, I just did three entire tomatoes, diced them up perfectly, but watch what I'm going to do now because you want the, the, you want the same size pieces. Yeah. So with your onion, they're going to be the same size as your tomatoes because you're using the same grate. <laughs> I mean, 
put How quick and easy is that? Mild, Greek salad. Oh, for salsa, for Greek yeah. salad, for soups and stews. And I'll tell you what, hey, for bruschetta, yeah, it's perfect. Oh, but watch this. I'm going to take okay, this blade out. You for a minute? Okay, basically in five minutes, John did what? Four <laughs> onions. Like, I lost count of how many right? leeks. All of those matchstick, you know, carrots. Right. Two different types of french fries. Do you know any, I, I challenge any world-renowned chef in the world to, to be done with <laughs> to just do the, that, to, yeah. to be done with it, just the right. french fries. Right. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Look That's at this. so crazy. Now, I put the slicing insert in, place a cucumber on top, and press, and you get perfect slices. And I want you to see these slices, because every one is exactly the same thickness. Yeah. So it's not like a knife where you get one thick, <laughs> right. one thin, one finger <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> exactly. Hey, if you're still using those tools in the kitchen like this, you know, where you, there's nothing to protect uh, your fingers, you get close to your fingers, you take off yeah. a nail or a knuckle. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, I look at, like, the flex pay, it's, it's, it's like less than... Hey, if your fingers are worth a buck a piece, <laughs> I mean, you might want to think about this. Look at this. It will snap the lid on top, mm. add a little bit of feta cheese, some, some olives in there, yeah. and a little bit of Greek dre salad dressing. Mix it up, and look at that. Now you've got your Greek salad ready to go. You pop that Isn't in the that fridge. Awesome? It's got the lid, and it's ready for dinner when you're ready. It is. Remember, free peeler, free peeler, free peeler. Oh. I have spent more than a flex pay on that peeler. I can tell you that right now. And this is it. This Here's is something last else. show of the weekend. So grab it while you can. I got to show you this too, okay. because these blades can, you, you can use them different ways. Okay. Right. Now in the machine, and, and again, if you're going to do this at home, be careful because you, you know, there's nothing to protect your fingers, but place it over the top of a long vegetable like this, run it all the way down. And look at this. If you want long, juicy, look at that long cucumber icicles. Okay. Oh, if you're into man. pickling, you'll love it. My grandmother was pickled all the, uh, pickling all the time, but she didn't have a tool like this. So try and do that oh, with a knife. True. It takes forever. I mean, there's a huge long cuc uh, uh, English cucumber here. Did you miss that? Okay. We'll do it again. I'll show all you right. again. See, one side of this is dull. Okay. The other side is sharp. And when you put it into the machine, the lid does the work for you. Right. Okay. But if you have something like a cucumber or a zucchini that you want to turn into sticks, look at this. I mean, because it, it's perfect. It's just fun to watch. <laughs> I know. And it's fun to do. And I'll tell you, cooking should be fun. Yeah. You know, who wants, uh, who, again, cooking doesn't you know, take time. You're running time. out of room. It's the preparation <laughs> that takes the time. You know, that's I, the biggest challenge when John is out here because he works so fast and so quickly. Well, we run out of room the on the table. The tools save you so much time, you get the right. job done in seconds. Here, watch this. We'll take some radishes, three radishes at a time. We'll place it on top of the yeah. slicing blade. Here's a couple radishes. Look, I'll, you can do one at a time if you want, yep. okay? But if you have a bunch of small radishes, put two or three or four of them on there at a time. Press down on that lid. Takes and seconds. there was a whole bowl of radishes that are sliced perfectly, and I want you to see that. If you're sitting there with your eyeglasses and a paring knife trying to slice radishes over the top of a salad, you'll love this. And how about this? For delicate okay. things, maybe you want to slice up some mushrooms yeah. for sauteed uh, mushrooms for a, a steak dinner. You know, or maybe you want to add some... for the sliced ones. You so, know that, right? When I go oh, to, yeah. When I go to hey, the store. you buy mushrooms in the store this way, or you can buy them already sliced up for you. Right. Add it up and figure it out. Oh, yeah. It's about a dollar a pound difference. It, it is. Okay. And you know what's so sad? If, if they're pre-sliced, they start to go bad as right. soon as they, you know, as soon as you open the package. As soon as you right. open the package. So here's the thing. This is John's last show of the weekend. You can get it for ten dollars on your credit card. I have because I, you know, how much I love to cook. I've spent more than ten dollars <laughs> on that, you know, crazy peeler that's free. <laughs> and Look all these slices go. are exactly the same thickness, yeah. so they'll sauté up at the same time. I mean, it does way more work than an electric expensive machine. Yeah. And I want to show you again how this works. I'm going to switch back here to that fine, that thin julienne insert, okay. okay? This is the one that does your fine dicing. And I'm going to show you with some hard-boiled eggs. That's a lot easier than my okay. food processor, too, because you got to monkey around with different blades and this. clean it out. I mean, you can see how that blade yeah. separates that, right? Nice. And yeah, oh, it's so easy to right? change out the blades. But look at this. I can press down on this. Now, imagine cheese for cheese yeah. straws, ham for ham sticks, Good eggs idea. for egg salad, or maybe you're making a quick uh, potato salad yeah. with egg, or tuna fish or chicken salad. You want to add some some uh, diced egg to it, now you can do that. That's Instead smart. of using a fork where you mash it up into like mush, now you get actual egg pieces, okay? Yeah. But you can see how those blades separate that food nice. as you press down on the lid. I'll lift it up again so you guys can, at home can see. See how those blades separate it? It's like having 24 little knives right. all hey, working John, at the same quick time. quick quantity update. Turquoise, that blue box blue is almost gone with only 100. Uh, red, you know, also almost gone. Purple, black, apple green. Uh, red is also the most popular. At this point, just get it, grab it, yeah. use it, and you will love hey, and it. And it's a great gift, too, for those yeah. people. If you know someone with dexterity problems, oh, maybe they have a hard sure. time using a knife in the kitchen, 
And I gotta tell you, you know, a, a professional chef spends years in culinary school learning how to control and handle a knife. Now, while a lot of people are actually intimidated in the kitchen because they don't have knife skills. Right. With this machine, now you don't need it. All you do is press down on the lid. The machine does the work for you with those it, it razor does. sharp blades. And you know what, and no disrespect, because we've got great chefs at HSN, oh, and sure. none of them could be as precise as no. this. I mean, it's just, it's just human error. Right. I mean, nothing could well, be as precise. And when you see what comes out of here, yeah. look at this. That's a perfect mince. Every piece Every is exactly the same. Yep. How many of us have bought that little con container of diced peppers in the store with the lid on it? Again, when you buy them this it. way, <laughs> All right, it's about a dollar a pound less than yeah. when you buy them this you way. You know what? It's about five bucks for the diced tomatoes that I've been pre buying because I told John I, I make that bone broth and make soup every week. Right. And the money, the time, the effort that this is going to save me. And you know, we all know fresh is best, but I know you're not doing fresh because it's a hassle, right? <laughs> That's why we don't do well, here, it. Look, here's how quick and easy it is. Here's two, the one and a half, here's two whole onions yeah. minced perfectly. And look, I'm not shedding a tear. I was just going to say, I don't have smell on my hands, <laughs> right. okay? I mean, you I don't know. have to worry about that because yep. everything goes into the bowl. You can make stuff up ahead of time. Here, we'll add some leeks to that. You know, you're okay? running out of food. You're doing so much. <laughs> you know. You and know then that, right? it comes with the lid so you can snap that lid on and keep it fresh in your Isn't fridge. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> so remember, oh, I thank you again to our crew. You see that FlexPay does oh. expire after this show. So this is your last chance to get it with the free, free, free And I got to tell you, that peeler here, watch this card. again. Because again, it cuts from both directions, forwards and backwards. So yep. it cuts twice as fast as any other other peeler and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with this peeler like you can make those long carrot ribbons like this uh, if you like you wrap you look you wrap that up and make a little rose for a garnish for your oh, salads yes. okay or you flip the peeler over and it's got that long thin julienne so it'll, you can do the julienne strips for your stir fries stir fries are quick and easy to cook they're healthy they're good for you now with this little peeler they're quick and easy to cut I mean look at that that's per it's a perfect garnish for a salad. That took you seconds. <laughs> All right, here's that the peeler, thing. It's worth its weight in gold. And You'll love that peeler. Remember that flex pay is done after this show. So this is it where you can get it for ten dollars on your credit card. The time, the money, oh, the you know effort. But it's I got to tell you, you. Know. if you've got here, I, I know we're running out of time here, but if you've got a bartender in your life, or maybe you're a bartender, right. you want to talk about saving time. Look at this. You can do your lemon and lime yeah. wedges in seconds. All right. Look at that. Perfect pinwheels for rimming your glasses. Bravo! <laughs> Thank you, John. Oh, thank you. All right, we'll look for you with other things later yes, this week, right? Absolutely. I'll Sounds be good. Thank you, John. All, week long. Uh, all right, well, we've got, remember, spend $99 or more, you get that free shipping in our kitchen category. You know what's back on Monday is Adam with the Monday Night Show. So, more details. And do I hear a hamburger in my future? I do. Okay, don't go anywhere. Uh, you never know what we're going to do on the Monday Night Show. But here's a sneak peek. There'll be more than a few surprises. Quick look at what's going on right now. Watch out for that seagull. <laughs> and weekly guest challenges. Not on yet. Keep going, Leah. Keep going. But don't forget about the great products. Tune in 7 p.m. on Monday or visit hsn.com and search Monday Night Show for more. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. I found it in Peru. China, Morocco, an amethyst mine in the middle of nowhere. Every day is a new adventure. We go right to the mines. You can actually show people, okay, this is how it all starts. And every rough material you get is like opening a Christmas present. You're able to sculpt it, make it into something that's really unique, very special, very limited. And I think that that's what people love. They know the history of it.
Kelly, every time she's here, I'm shopping. It's like I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing because I'm, I'm going to buy this. I was actually, I told Kelly the story. I was all set to buy a pizza oven, you know, one of these little things that rotates like this. And it's, you know, their entry level starts about $59, $69. But the reviews on it weren't great because it wasn't easy to clean. So they sell a different version for about $79, $89. So I thought, okay, I'll get the better one and I'll do $79, $89. But that's all it does <laughs> is pizza. So leave it to Dash. It's one of our 10 favorites. You just pick your color of choice. It's an oven. It's a skillet. It's a quesadilla maker. It's a griddle. It's a burger maker. It's a pizza cooker. If you only got it for pizza, it's going to pay for itself. I told Kelly that I had to get her out here right away because I, I need some feed and Cause fast. Because you're, you're hungry. Because <laughs> I get hungry. it. I see. It's a conditional Where love around here. Where has this been all my life? Because no yes, kidding. my I, friend. When, when I was telling this Kelly the, the story... I, because my, my sister-in-law actually recommended, you know, this other little rotating thing. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, I don't know, that's hot air. It's kind of rotating. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not so sure about that. This makes sense to me. This is cool. It and is. we're going to talk about why. But most importantly, everybody can eat a hot meal together. Have you, you ever heard of such a thing? When you're doing breakfast, you've got like a nine inch fry pan. You're doing an omelet for, you know, your husband. You're doing an omelet for the child. And everybody's done eating except you're just now eating because you only have a nine or ten inch fry pan. You're getting two 12 inch cooking surfaces in terms of electric skillets. You right. turn it on, it's on. So by and the way, then, that'd be $100 from that little rotating thing because yep. their, their yep. you know, base is about that size. And then when you close it, my friends, it becomes your oven. You're getting heat from the top and the bottom. Right. This machine is so cool. So of course, now everybody can have breakfast at the exact yeah. same time. So there's our French toast and our bacon and our eggs. And everybody's eating a hot meal. So you're eating a hot meal with your family rather than everybody's already done <laughs> right. eating. And you're just now sitting down to have your omelet. That's not fair. It's not that much fun. And people are, or if your family's nice, like my right. husband will oftentimes wait for me. And then his food is cold. And that's not fun either. Either. So when you have two 12-inch cooking surfaces in terms of an electric skillet, and then if you want to close it and do your pizza, like yeah. Shannon mentioned, it truly is the coolest invention. I've never seen anything okay. like it. You know what's nuts? I have sold griddles on the air for more than $49.95. Oh, oh, totally. So Absolutely. It, again, if you only use this for pizza, now here's the one thing, and thank you guys, you actually see that, what we call a call out here at HSN. It's just, you know, your little visual cue or reminder that flex pay is done after this show. Take it for a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. I was hoping you'd do this. Yes. Because you know that other little Look rotating that. hot air product? You said it's hard to clean. It's hard. The reviews said right. it was hard to clean. The reviews said it was hard Look to clean. Look at this. Now, this is Dash. This is our True Glide nonstick technology. There's actual grooves in it, which allow for easy release of food. Yeah. And then we have our True Glide, which is proprietary to HSN. But what's so cool is now I've gone from doing my breakfast and using it as a double skillet. By the way, 12 inches and 12 inches. So nice. two 12-inch cooking surfaces, about a half an inch deep, so you so can do a nice casserole. I would be doing breakfast on one side, yep. teriyaki shrimp on the other. My friend, you can do whatever you want. Whatever you, I mean, you, you want. Up to, it's up to your wildest oh, imagination. That's genius. And then I'm going to do my stir fry vegetables <laughs> and my teriyaki shrimp. Room. And then what's so cool, what I'm going to do now is instead of having to babysit my stir fry, you guys, watch what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Now I'm heating it from the top yeah. and the bottom and I'm walking away. Isn't that it's genius? It's cooking it from the top on your stove top. You could. The top, you'd have to stand and flip or, or stir. You know, even if you do one of those little pazuki things, yes. you know, if you do like a cookie, a mm -hmm. pizza, a quesadilla, if you can hear that sizzle, that's yeah. the sound of happiness, yes, my friends. Because <laughs> everything from bratwurst, you know, to hamburgers, to hot dogs, to steak, to breakfast, you had me at pizza. <laughs> you really did. Well, here's the thing. If you get it and, like, Shannon is going to do her pizza and yeah. you only do pizza, it's worth $50. Oh, for sure. Because pizza in a giant oven is, it's 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 uncomfortable, to say the least, right? Yeah. So you get a soggy bottom. You do. You get a not-so-melty top. I'm going to take one for the team <gasps> and lift that up and show you Look that crust. Look at that. Look at that golden brown like it was out of a wood fire oven. I was just going to say, like, like a pizza oven. Like a pizza oven. And it's because you're getting direct heat on the crust on the bottom. So yeah. You're getting direct heat here. And then when you close it, you're getting direct heat on your right. cheese. But you know, the other thing is you're not heating up. You don't talk about saving energy costs. Why in the world am I heating up my full your size big oven, old oven? Right? And I don't know about you, but I prefer to reheat pizza in an oven too. Mm -hmm. So this is not just cooking. It's an oven. It's a skillet. It's a griddle. It's a stir fry. It's a pizza oven. Even if you just use it to reheat, mm -hmm. you know, reheat quesadillas that. or chicken fingers or 
mozzarella sticks because it cooks from the top and the bottom. Yes, you're getting Why wouldn't you? And you would never get heat like that in your no, traditional oven. And never. I found the more that I work in the kitchen and I test all kinds of kitchen appliances, let that cool, but that's okay. for you. Ooh, look uh, at the that more cheese. I realize the ovens in our homes are the mm. most inefficient use of cooking. It's true. They're big, they heat up a giant space. You don't get direct heat on the bottom or on the top. Nope. So you're trying to cook a pizza, but the heat's up here and way down here, and your yeah. pizza's right here. This becomes the best, and I mean the best, whether it's your homemade pizza dough or a store-bought frozen pizza. This becomes the best pizza oven. Oh, there we go, it right does. there. Oh, perfect. You get that crunchy underneath, but that perfectly melted, ooey-gooey cheese on the if top. If you only did it for pizza. Okay, two quick things, and I apologize, but the black and the red are the runaway hits. I personally like the grape. You know, red and purple are my two favorite colors. Here's the other thing I love about this. It's not creating another storage I issue. I love the way it stores. So this is how it stores. Isn't that cool? So if you're thinking, oh, I don't need another big print, you know, footprint of, of storage for an appliance, this takes up no room. I mean, for the amount of uses you right. get out of this, for it to store like that is unbelievable. I know, and honestly, you know, get the recipes. everything. Oh, fish tacos and fajitas mm -hmm. and pizzas and cobblers and, you know, apple Dutch babies. I mean, the list goes on and on. Do you know, if you only did one meal of the week with this, whether it's breakfast. Oh, you won't, you won't, though. You'll yeah. do dozens. <laughs> you know what? Chances are you'll never put this away, even if it's just to reheat food. Now, remember, that flex pay is done when Kelly is done. So that flex pay is done after this show. What are you working on now? Quesadillas, fajitas. Yeah. I do my son's quesadillas in this almost every day because it's a food group at our house. <laughs> right. Okay, look, this is your fixing. So okay. whether it's your peppers, your ham, you can yeah. see we have onions, whatever you want to do, asparagus, crab, anything, you guys. And okay. then this is 15 eggs. 15, That's 15 eggs. eggs. This will serve at least six to eight people. Maybe you want to bring this with you to your church gathering if you do, you know, Sunday brunches or if you do potluck at your work. And then I'm going to put my cheese because, of course, what, would, you can. what good would a frittata be without a <laughs> topping right. full of cheese on the top? Do you know what a hassle it is for me to do a frittata in well, my you oven? Would, well, you'd have to do it in your oven. Oh. And who does a frittata? I mean, you would never be able to do this on your stove no. top because you would never get the heat from you the wouldn't. top, you guys. So now you're heating from the top and the bottom. We're going to come back to this. And we're going to come back to our frittatas. stir fry. They're so pretty. And they look They're like gorgeous. you spent hours in the kitchen. I mean, They look very night. fancy. They do. Yeah. They look nice and fluffy. Here's the thing, though. Remember that flex pay is good for this show. So it's good for this show. When Kelly's done, this is done. Once more, if you only used it for pizza, it's going to pay for itself. Look at this, and though. I want to talk about that uh, kitchen promotion that we have going on. Remember, you spend $99 in the kitchen, you know, whether it's origami or some of our favorite kitchen items. Then you're looking at free shipping. So fill that shopping cart up. You did that on one. So we did four full-size oh. thick steaks, and we did eight. Uh, excuse me, four burgers and four oh, sausages. Man. This could have been eight steaks or twelve burgers and fifteen sausages. However, you want to fill this. This is what I'm talking about. In oh, the middle of the winter, you're going to be able to grill gosh. and get that grill flavor because you're able to get that to that high, high temperature. You're talking 370, 380 degrees. Okay, you are freaking me out. This is Look just too much fun. Look at how much food. Okay, well, I know it's a little too late for tailgating, but you get the idea. I mean, because this takes up a smaller footprint than your toaster, you do realize that. My toaster takes up yes. more room to store yeah, than I mean, this. It, I mean, you're utilizing that vertical space right. rather than the horizontal Which space makes in your sense. cabinet. And what's really cool, though, is it could go with you. You know, college dormitory, assisted living. It's yep. actually smaller. go anywhere. You can keep it at work. It's I an mean, electric skillet. That's one yeah. of the reasons people love electric skillets, because you can travel with them. You get beautiful Look grill at that results. Sear. Yeah. Look at that oh, sear man. on the top, the caramelization that we were able Able to get Beautiful. and the perfectly cooked interior four steaks four burgers four sausages <laughs> on one on one and then watch as it wipes okay. clean i'm just going to wipe down the this center because really i want to show me. you so this is just a wet kitchen rag yeah. whatever your old dirty used you know wet rag yeah you just take it and you, i'm just going to wipe down the one center but yeah. i mean literally it's like i've parted you know the oil like if I wanted to wipe down this yeah, whole half, you're out. gonna just take a couple of seconds and wipe it clean. All right, Robin this is, is a fan that true in glide Texas. Texas. Hi, Look at Robin. That. Robin. It's Kelly and Shannon. Welcome to HSN. Hi, uh, Shannon Kelly. Hi, you're all from Houston. Hi. Uh, whoa, big I was things born happening. In Houston. Yeah, yeah I was no. on there, no? <laughs> <laughs> well, so Robin, we hear you already have this at home. Uh, I, it came last night. UPS, I was so excited. It was like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. So, okay, Robin, what was the first thing you made? Uh, I made all the easy eggs, and oh my God, in, in seconds. <laughs> and, and isn't it easy to clean? 
Oh, I mean, it's no brainer. <laughs> it, it, it is. Okay, Robin. So if and, anybody's. And then I made pork chops with the eggs for breakfast. Oh, oh lovely. And then I, I made a uh, uh, pot stickers for lunch. Oh, oh man, wow. I'm coming to your and house. And for dessert, I made a banana and I have bread in it. Oh, oh, good for oh you. the big bread. bread. Yes. Oh, I'm going to do that. And Robin, I, I don't know, you must, because I'm dying to get my hands on this. Even when, because I'm a pretty good cook, I don't know about you, but there's no way I could heat things as evenly on my stove top as this is heating. Have you found that the cooking is fast and easy too? I mean, this is a, this thing that's sliced bread. <laughs> She gets so excited about it. Robin, thank you. Well, Robin, thanks for sharing your night with us. All the best out there in Houston. Yeah. Uh, thank you, you all. Have a nice one. You do the same. Thank you, Robin. So Ooh, you're feeding the crowd. Is, yeah, this is the stir fry that we started. Yeah. Um, we started it about eight minutes mm -hmm. ago, you guys. And this is hands-free. All I did was put it on and shut mm. the lid. Now, your stir fry at home, I believe that you know how to do it. I know you do it on your stovetop, oh, wow. on your pan. But you've got the splatters. You've got a lot of cleanup. And you've got a babysitter. It. This Kelly, one, this steak is good. Oh, you doing the steak? Oh, oh, of course she is. I yeah. should have known. Um, I'm but all the, about the meat. She's about the meat. We've got our shrimp. We've got our mm. pizza. We've got our steaks. We've got our burgers. The versatility on this item, and I've never seen another thing like it. So Dash is an innovator in that they really take these simple ideas that you think, oh, there must be dozens of this type <laughs> right. of product on the market. And they decided to give it to you in two 12-inch spaces and then allow you to close it up okay. and then allow you to store it easily. All right, so just to Kelly's point, I'll show you this again. Now, everything has its place. You know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to other products out there, but the, the pizza product that I was looking at, it rotates, it has, you know, a basin about this yep. size. Yep. Started at about $59. Now, that was their I've entry seen level it. I know one. what you're talking about. You know, yeah. the one I'm talking about. Yeah. But the reviews were, oh, it's hard to clean, mm -hmm. right? You double it, so let's say this is over $100 of that, and it doesn't rotate, mm -hmm. but it also doubles as an oven. Yep. So you can bake, you can do cobblers, you can do banana bread, you can do pork chops. Are those open-faced ham melted? sandwiches okay. on garlic toast? I love how Shannon's I'm, I'm going to give in. I'm going to have some carbs. She's, mid, she's always mid-sentence, and then she sees food, and I she's know. like, never mind, whatever. <laughs> talking about it doesn't matter i see food i know do you know the crew was laughing at me because uh, actually thank you hsn they had wings and you know like game oh, day food nice. delivered and even our coordinator is like well we knew that we shannon you know wherever there's food yes, in the network you know she, she'll it's be like, in like the most poignant thought ever and then she'll be like oh i like, see oh. chicken wings i'm like scooby-doo <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's food. So remember that FlexPay is done after this show. Honestly, get it at home. Try to prove us wrong. It's from Dash, so you know. I see you got me again. I know, I'm sorry. The open-faced sandwich wasn't it, enough. Yes. So our open-faced sandwich is okay. just our, our beautiful Texas toast okay. um, with our ham and then whatever cheese, and then okay. you just shut the lid. And if, you could close it if you wanted to right. do like a, pati a panini or a grilled right. cheese. But we just oh, thought that, that was really fun. The crust is crunchy. It's because you're getting That's heat my favorite. on the bottom and the top. Yeah. So I okay. know you probably wanted to eat that right. one. But you get that crunch yeah, on the bottom, and that? then the cheese is also melted on the top. Oh, right. look, it's golden and yeah. perfect. Beautifully and then, brown. Isn't and that see, that, I love grilled cheese, but I hate it when it's soggy. Yeah, because you know? that's not the point. You want it's, that crunch. You want that crunch. So it's beautifully browned. And remember, this show only for less than, what is that, $18, $16 on your credit card. Remember our kitchen promotion, too. Once you spend $99 on, you know, origami or any of our great kitchen items, you're actually looking at free shipping. So I didn't even think of nachos. So put your nachos. And what's great about it is because you get the even heat on the bottom and no. the top, your nachos are going to be crispier than even they were coming out of the bag you guys so it'll actually crisp up your nacho chips mm. on the bottom and then it'll melt your cheese on the top and then we're going to come back and add sort of our cooler toppings oh, which are like our you know olives and tomatoes and stuff like that so we're going to let that cheese melt mm. um, but this is so much better than doing them in the oven because if you've ever done a big old sort of you know nacho feast in your yeah. oven you get the soggy ones you get the ones in the middle where all the oil has soaked in oh, and yeah. they're soggy and I don't know about you but if I'm eating nachos and I'm expending the calories and I'm allowing myself to just do the nachos I want them to be good I don't want them to be soggy I want every bite to be crispy and crunchy and mm. that's what's gonna happen when you have that eating heat, uh, excuse me even heat on the bottom and the top and so when you have an oven the heats up here and up here where your foods in the middle no matter what shelf you put it on right. your foods in the middle 
When you have this, your food's right there, so you're getting the even heat on the top, even heat on the bottom, and then when you open it up, you've got two skillets. Okay, I'm telling you, if you are there kids in the house, or big kids, little kids, and everybody in between, get this. I've actually been dying to present this with Kelly, because I saw it, no, this is no joke, I saw it in the hallway, yeah. and I knew I was thinking about buying this pizza oven thing, and I thought, do you know what? I bet this is better. And now I'm a believer. Yeah, the pizza so is the best pizza. If you only do pizza, these open face sandwiches, I'm telling you, they're... <laughs> It's easy too. It's just the, the grill, you know, you get the box. Yeah, um, yeah the box. And here's our appetizers okay. too. Look what we've done. Oh my but gosh. But yeah, that's you, good. you just get the boxed um, uh, uh, garlic bread. I couldn't think of that word. Garlic bread and do whatever open face toppings that you want to do. Here is our beautiful appetizers. So these are just the, I mean, you, and by so you the way. You do like store bought. I mean, store bought appetizers. Yeah. And these uh, these are from Frozen. So if you want to take them right wow. out of the package, because you're getting that, that, that supreme heat on the bottom. In the top you can do these from frozen so these are just the frozen potato skins and mm. then we've created these beautiful uh, stuffed peppers which I'm gonna reveal here in a minute but the appetizer station whether this is your chicken wings my oh, husband yeah. today this is so funny he went to a Super Bowl party without me hi to everybody that's at the Super Bowl party without me and not even watching me so they don't know what I'm, I'm enjoying about. the tailgating food but on your he, behalf. he sent me a picture of him making his meatballs in his dash he was like isn't that funny you're on TV and I'm here using it <laughs> And I thought, that's real life. Like, I mean, he really is. Yeah, yeah, real funny, honey. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was like, that's hilarious because I don't yeah. get to eat that. Exactly. But, but thanks for sharing. You know what's so fun <laughs> about this? I don't care if it's a store-bought or if you're doing homemade. I mean, something as simple as a grilled cheese is mm -hmm. suddenly elevated. Yeah. And it sounds so funny, but sometimes the simple things are the hardest ones to do. Sure. And you don't babysit this. Yep. The whole idea though, for $16 on your credit card, you can obviously hear how excited I am about this because I have done some investigative research about the other product. And again, I'm not being disrespectful. Everything has its place. But when I read the reviews on that other product, the, 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 the bigger complaint was people said it was hard to clean. And you're never gonna use an item it, if it's hard it, to clean. It's ab you're, you know that's absolutely true. Yep. So I am I never even thought of nachos. And it's great for I nachos. I it's great, because I wanted to mm. open it and show you. Look at this, and then not only is it melted, it's caramel. You get that beautiful crispy crunch as well, and then you can leave this as your nacho station, okay? And leave it out just it's like so this. Cool. You could add, you could brown your beef over here. Let's say you want right. to open it, beef brown your beef right you here, yeah. and do beef nachos or pulled chicken nachos or pulled so pork cool. nachos. Add a little bit of cilantro. I would do a little hot sauce, a little salsa. Me too. There's your tomatoes or a lot of hot sauce, or, hot sauce <laughs> or half hot sauce, half not hot. However but you, you know want to do it. It's it's first of all, it's so much it's much more economical than heating up your entire oven. And right. frankly your oven will not do what this will do. It just I mean, doesn't. I could never, to, even those little toaster ovens, you're never going to get toasted crispy bread like this. And why mm -hmm. would you mm -hmm. when it only does one thing? This is an oven. You can use it to bake. You can use it to stir fry. You can use it to sear. You can use it to caramelize meat. You can use it every, on everything from nachos to banana bread and everything in between. And I just want to point out, I'm just going to show you the, the storage footprint one more time. The flex pay is done after this show. It ta my toaster takes up more room to store than this. Yeah, it really it does. does. It my uses toaster is a bigger space that no other footprint. Yeah. So remember, you choose the grape. You know, red and uh, uh, purple are my two favorite colors. We've also got the black. Comes with a full recipe, <laughs> but you don't need the recipe. You know, anything you put in this. Yes. I mean, it's, it's gonna. It. You work can't out. mess it up. And no. you, you mentioned desserts, banana yes, breads or pumpkin breads or whatever you want to do. Have you ever gone to the grocery store or the specialty cake store and bought a cookie cake or mm. ordered a cookie cake or done something like? that you can do a cookie cake for pennies on the dollar with just your own cookie dough or store-bought cookie dough add whatever candies you want to do because you're getting the perfect even heating on the bottom with the electric oh, yeah. skillet on the top with the electric skillet you're mm. getting results that you would never be able to get in an oven this would be very dried out in an oven um, to purchase it store-bought sure. it would cost a lot of money you can even see our cookie dough it's not hard it's not too crunchy it's really cooked to perfection and now you're able to do that you could do cake you could do brownies, you could do cobbler. It is a great party idea. Yeah. So you're gonna find more uses for it. I find myself reaching for this. My son, he's two, so we eat macaroni and cheese and we eat, we eat quesadillas, and that's about all we eat. And he will do right. refried beans with the cheese, so I know he's getting his protein, and I do it inside here because it gets crunchy on the top, which is what he wants, that crunch, right. but it melts the cheese. It does, so again, you can, this, we're just kind of scratching the surface in terms of what you're gonna do.
do here. So about 60 seconds, we're gonna move along to the final show with Concierge Collection. That flex pay does expire after this show. I hope you try it. I'm excited. I, this is the first time that I had a chance to air it with Kelly, and it's so, it's just so many different things. It is so much more. It's a grill, it's an oven, it's a pizza oven. I mean, you go down the list, everything from skillet and nachos and cookies and banana breads and appetizers and grilled cheese sandwiches. And yeah, had me at frittata. The frittata, you guys, yeah, look at how at fluffy, frittata. how puffy, how gorgeous, how easy that was for me to cook. I didn't have to babysit. I didn't have to use it on a stove. You know, I didn't have to stand over a stovetop. I didn't have to worry about it. I've never been able to successfully and beautifully, yeah, it's not gonna happen again. I've never been able to, ah! listen, you can get it you out. Good. Here we go. I I'm almost did it. There. So you can get it out um, if you take a little bit more time with it. Yeah. But that was 15 eggs, you yeah. guys. That is a 15 yeah. egg frittata. Can I point out, Kelly did not you. add any oil and on look at the, the base. bottom. Okay, look at the base. so that's without zero added fat. I mean, you could zero. wipe it clean and it's as if it just came out of the box. You would never suspect that 15 eggs just cooked in the bottom there. Joelle, you killed me. I wasn't doing any carbs until today. Those doggone sandwiches. Oh, the sandwiches. Okay. <gasps> I was going to say, where, oh, well, you had the pizza too. I know. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to rub it in, but there's a little carbs in the if bread. I, if I stand up when I eat it, it doesn't count. <laughs> you know what Ellen told me? Are you getting ready to work with Ellen? Yes. Ellen told me that carbs on, you know, the big game day Sunday don't count. Oh, so I like that. Yeah, it's like Christmas. <laughs> we're, we're exempt. Uh, You're yeah. exempt from any food you eat today. We absolve you. <laughs> all right, Kelly, thank you. Good Thanks to see you, you as always. You uh, all right, we are scooting along. In fact, we are alluding to Ellen Bunner. We've got that last airing of your today's special coming up next. And remember, part of our kitchen promotion is origami. But you know what? It, we've got free shipping on this anyway. Going back to the kitchen with origami, this is your portable kitchen island. It's a lot more affordable than having somebody install something in your kitchen. Plus, this could go table side, pool side, you name it. Just pick your color of choice. Uh, free shipping, $24.99. This is your last opportunity to do that. So it's a huge customer pick. We, everybody loves their origami, but this really has a near and dear place in my heart just because I couldn't afford to have somebody <laughs> build me a kitchen island. And this goes where you want to go. So it actually goes adjacent to the stovetop. 